me mini me hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video on the new black ops 3 mod tools now just in case you guys didn't know because it took me a second to kind of figure this out you know normally with the old mod tools you know you would just go into the roof folder and go to bin and launch the launcher it doesn't work that way anymore so what you want to do is you want to open up steam and you know it's your game is here but the mod tools isn't here either so what you want to do is you want to go over to library you want to go to tools and then you look for where the mod tools are and you double click that so double click that and it's going to open up the launcher i'm getting goosebumps again oh man like i'm still figuring out the tools so within the next day or two hopefully sooner i'll start dropping some videos but you know i got to get more precise on what's new and what the features are so right now it's loading up just give it a second come on baby i got a video going don't slow down on me now there we go all right cool and one more and it's going to open up So uh, it's, I've been waiting for this for months, and now that it's actually here, it's it's like it's unreal, you know? There we go, baby. There's the launcher. All right, so once you start off, you know, if you click on the bin folder and you open up the launcher, you're not going to see all this. That's why you have to do it in the method I'm showing you right now. Now, let's say if you want to create a map. You know, your maps show up right here. Most likely, it will just be multiplayer com uh, combined and ZM Giant that you'll see. These two I made right now. So what you want to do is you want to go over to File. You want to go to New. And over here is the template. Now, if you want to make a multiplayer template, you leave it on that one. And there's two other options. There's Mod and there's ZM Mod Level. Now, if you're going to make a Zombies map, put it on ZM zombie level name it zm underscore and then whatever name you want to make for your map let's say for me i'm going to put um youtube so you press ok now it, it's basically a script placer built in so it already built all the scripts and all the files for us click ok now you have it right over here now it's going to say uh Zom YouTube. So what you want to do is if you want to open this up in Radiant, you right click it and then you go to open map in Radiant and it'll open up the map. Now let's check this out. So it's loading up the Radiant. Radiant Black baby. Oh yeah. And there we have it. And this is your first level. Now a lot of the same old stuff still applies to this. You know, like moving around in the 3D window, you know, right, hold, right click and move around. You can zoom in and out. You know, you can also plug in a controller and move around the world. I have a control plugged in right now and I'm moving around. Now this is in Radiant, so this is fucking cool. Excuse my, uh, my language. But, you know, here's everything you would normally expect. You know, a player spawn and a multiplayer spawn points. Here's a zombie window. Over here are the perks. You can't really see them. And uh, pack a punch machine. There's your um, power switch. Over here are some zombie windows. All right, let me stop moving around with the control. But uh, it's, there you have it. All right, if anything, let me load up this map. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to save. I'm going to close up the radiant. Now I'm going to go back over to launcher. And if you want to build the map, what you're going to do is you're going to click Compile, you're going to click Lights, Link, and Run. With this one being checked, because that's the one we made, you're going to hit Build, and it's going to build the map for you. You're going to have to wait a few minutes for it to compile. You're going to see every all the process going over here in this lower window. And then once it's done, you're going to uncheck Compile, Lights, Link, and just leave Run. And then hit Build again, and it'll load up your map. Now, let's go over to the map that I uh, already loaded up. That way, we don't have to see the compile going through because that's going to take a few minutes. I don't want to make the video that long. All right, so I already have this one that I already was in. 
I just colored the floor. And let's check out and see what it looks like. I'm going to hit run. I will build. Just give it a few seconds. It's going to load up the mod for us. There we go. I'm getting the black screen. Normally, it's the screen of death, but it's the screen of goodness. All right, baby. Come on. You got to give it a few seconds or at least a minute because it's uh, loading up all the mod information. And there we have it. This is the template map. Now you, just like the regular Radiant, you can start off with a blank map, but just look at this, man. Look at these mountains and these clouds. Look at that zombie. There we go, baby. It has the points. You know, they're the perk machines. There's the Pack-A-Punch. All right, let's turn on the power because uh, it's not going to let you do anything. See? See, power must be on first. But uh, let's check out all the bare essentials. Can I boost? No, I cannot. As you can see, I'm checking this out for the first time along with you guys. So, turn on the power. Oh, look at those animations. There we go. Alright, round two. I could get quick revive. I need more money for the jug. And there it is, man. Oh, what's this gun over here? Let's check this out. There we go, shotgun. Ah, zombie. Fucking messed up my video. And as you can see, it's nothing has a texture. So once I go back into Radiant and um, start applying textures, it'll be uh, good to go. Now, there's no walls. There's nothing. But for it being a test map, it's pretty cool, you know? So if you guys like the video, hit that like button. And I should see you guys soon with uh, some awesome videos, man. I can't wait. All right, let me get back to work, guys. Thanks for watching.